Good morning, social fam. Hope you're all having a fantastic start to your morning. Morning my time, so if it's morning your time, make it a fantastic day. If it's the afternoon, kill the rest of the day. If it's the evening, then uh, get that rest in, try meditating, try to do something different to ground yourself and get yourself a nice rest. So, today's topic, NLK3, Norman Lloyd Kinsey III. NLK3 is short for Norman Lloyd Kinsey III. Uh, but today's topic is going to be on something new. Today's topic is going to be on saving. So uh, how many here basically save? Raise a hand depending on how many people here save. And um, who here puts emphasis on taking the, uh, taking the time to be able to save? Because saving is something that's very, very important for all of us to do and for all of us to take in consideration because basically savings is something that can help us in the long run. And basically, we all want to make sure that we have some type of savings so we can basically plan for the future. Now, a lot of times people are like, well, I don't have money to save because I basically have all these bills and what have you. Well, the thing is, is that, you know, when you think about life, and I'm going to give you guys a topic on a book that I want you all to read uh, later on here to kind of bring everything together full circle. But when you think about money and you think about finances, and you think about expenses, and you think about cars and boats and <coughs> excuse me and you think about nice watches and you think about all the various different things that you can buy in your life right and um, you know how when you work so hard you deserve to go out to dinner when you work so hard you deserve to have nice things but there's something to think about and the thing to think about is is that yes you deserve to have nice things but there's a whole nother there's a whole other thing to think about on top of this so you can be able to live outside your means. And when you live outside your means, that causes an issue. And the issue is, is that you think that basically, you know, um, you know, basically you deserve these various different things, so you buy them. Then you think to yourself that, you know, oh, well, I can just make payments. And then you start making payments on these items, and then you come to a point where you're like, oh my God, now I gotta get other loans to pay for these other loans, and you're always doing this, trying to figure out the balance. And so, you know, buying yourself things is great and having nice things is great, but living outside your means to cause yourself stress in your life and to always have to think about how can I basically be able to make more money and then when you make more money because you're stressed out about this, these things that you have to pay for, all that's going to do is it's going to give you more opportunity to be able to buy more things. Now buying more things is not the answer, right? I mean buying more things is something that is only going to cause more issues. Now the thing to do is is to be able to not buy more things uh, be grateful and have um, and have gratitude for what you already have and just utilize what you have already as something that can make you or keep you satisfied now you can go to the gym and you can work out and you know you want to go out to eat that's fantastic but learn how to make your own great food so then you can still get that sense of oh my god I have this amazing food but you made it yourself so when you talk about basically savings and you think about about, okay, how do I how do I change this lifestyle and, and make it so that I can have a you know retirement or pension or have some savings for when I basically get older or maybe even potentially be able to be financially free? Could you imagine being financial financially free? Could you imagine not having to work a day in your life and being able to have your bills still paid? I mean, that would be absolutely amazing, right? So basically. Savings can do that for you. Now, savings are, are, is good for multiple different things because if you don't have a thousand or two thousand dollars in your bank account right now for you know basically you know what ifs, then you're definitely in a, in a place where you know you're setting yourself up for some some interesting situations because some things can happen where maybe the, there's that what if, and then your next thing you know need to get another loan to pay for your transmission, your car going out, or pay for a medical bill, or pay for something that was unexpected. Expected. So having savings can help you with that as well. So if you can think to yourself, okay, how do I save? Why would I save? What's the first steps? The first steps is, is start thinking to yourself, okay, maybe I should get myself a savings account, right? Let's start off with that. Then how much do you want to save per month or per 
paycheck, paycheck. Like say for instance, I'll give you an example. I save 10% of any money that I bring in. That goes to my savings account, that goes to cash, it's whatever. Any money that I bring in, I basically save 10%. That's my rule of thumb. Now you could do 5%, you could do 15%, you could do 20%, it's up to you. Now I've already saved, you know, basically about a thousand bucks. Took me about, about a month month and a half, give or take, um, basically, you know, to get that thousand dollars with basically 10%. So that's what's happened with that. And so basically think about first getting yourself a savings. Second, how much do you want to save? And third, think about writing down how much you pay on a monthly basis and go through your bank account on like food and coffee and clothes and you know, anything that you do. And then think about what can you do to be able to free up that 10 or 15%, whether it's not that coffee that you buy, or maybe it's not that, say for instance, uh, it's not that you know, restaurant that you go to, or whatever the case may be, to help you be able to balance those various different things out. So the book that I wanted to tell you guys all about, to think about and to read, is Tony Robbins' The Mastery of Money. So Tony Robbins breaks down all of these various different things, and then talks about stocks and bonds and IRAs, and all of these other things that I'm not too familiar with. So I'm not even going to sit here and bullshit you and tell you that I know all these various different things. What I'm going to tell you is, is that I'm an entrepreneur and I've been running my own entrepreneur journey for about seven years, you know, and I'm now at the seven year marker where now I'm at a place where I'm like, well, about six, six and a half and almost at seven year marker where now I can say I can start saving before I can even pay myself, you know, on food stamps and, and everything else. <clears throat> and now I'm at a point where I can pay myself and I can put away 10% of savings. So, you know, and I'm working for myself, you know, I'm not even working for someone where I know how much I'm gonna make on a monthly, uh, bi-weekly, or weekly type you know, circumstance. So Tony Robbins, The Mastery of Money, check it out. I highly recommend it, and I highly recommend thinking about getting into uh, a habit of saving because savings is always something good to have because of the what ifs, so you can compound your interests, so you can have financial freedom, and the list goes on and on and on and on. So I'm gonna keep on doing this, and I'm gonna keep on working on this, and I'm gonna keep on doing it until I can master money and have money work for me instead of me working for money. Something that I would highly recommend, and I would support you to do as well. Thanks for like, following, connecting. If you like this video, like the video. If you want to subscribe, subscribe on the video. And if you want to check me out on my social media, uh, basically the links are also below as well. Normal Lloyd Kinsey III and OK3 for short. Thank you for your time. Make it a fantastic rest of your day, evening, night, whatever time you're watching this video. And uh, make a stand, make a change. You can, you will do it.